Brewdog's Triple Hazy uh, New England IPA is what I'm reviewing, and this comes in at 9.5%. There we go, nice design on the can. Uh, they really do go to a lot of effort with these cans. There we go, love it. Nice uh, colour scheme. This, of course, is from Scotland. It's a 440ml, 9.5, triple hazy. It's a New England IPA. So, let's do this. Let me show there's no shit in there. And there's a, a weird colour. It looks like... Uh, I'm not going to say what that looks like. You all said it, not me. So there we go, a lovely, I'll leave that there, that is a yellowy, <laughs> yellowy, hazy colour, good two finger whips of head, very thin head, doesn't look like it holds its own in a ring, but there we go, can't see through it, completely covered, you, you just can't see through it, so I, I have no idea what the carbonation situation is like. The head is very small bubbles, very tightly compact, watery looking, so I have my doubts about this, but hey, let's crack on with some aromas. Very, very citrusy, there's a little bit of muskiness to it. Grapefruit, grapefruit, pear, peach. You could say papaya, maybe lemon, lime, that sort of kind of region. So very pleasing on the nose, but will it be pleasing on the taste? Let's find out, shall we? Okay, now, I like this, don't get me wrong, I like this, there are some flavours coming in, but before I get into that, I forgot to mention, this is, this is like number three of the, uh, of the series, sorry I had a call there, so apologies for that, there's, uh, this is like the third one in the series, and it started off with, uh, Hazy, I think it was, Hazy Jane, I think it was, or something like that, then it was Double Hazy, now it's triple hazy, and they all taste very, very similar, except the alcohol content just climbs on each of them. This being the strongest one and the third one in the series now. What they've done is they've kept the same style as the last two, with the flavours and everything, literally to the T. This, however, is a little bit more softer, so you've got plenty of juicy fruits, grapefruits. If I burp, it's not a good beer. Grapefruits, citrus, a reasonable amount of hop. But everything is toned down. Although the alcohol content's gone up, the body, the flavours are a little bit more softer. They're more toned down, which I find really interesting. There's a little bit of pineapple. There's grapefruit, hop. Lemon zest. I, I, I'm not sure what the hop is, but yeah, there's an, uh, a taste from the hop. So let's, let's narrow this down, shall we? So you've got a nice, soft, low, medium carbonation body that then delivers tons, and I mean tons, of uh, juicy fruits. The alcohol content tries to make an appearance if that's the way you want to look at it it doesn't get through it's not like 9.5 or whatever it is tramp fuel this is 9.5 sophisticated in a good way because it's 9.5 it delivers loads of flavor there is no alcohol burn but you do get the alcohol just at the end again like we saw with the 50 cuts and i think again like i mentioned you know, 50 cuts review it is very very 
good tactic to have because you bombard people with the, the flavor first and then you get a tad alcohol just to remind you hey hold your horses don't down this this is 9.5 percent yeah the head doesn't really do much I mean if you really really work it you'll get a little fuzz but that's about it leaves you with a lovely juicy aftertaste of just juicy fruits citrusy kind of region um what would i score this i mean to be honest with you i think it's just basically the double that's been uh, double hazy that's been reinvented and toned down a hell of a lot more uh, and then the, the alcohol content ramped up so for that reason i'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. i don't think there's nothing new with this other than the mouthfeel and the style just feels a little bit softer a bit more gentler um, but equally as I say equally the flavors there you know so yeah not not too bad not too bad at all was it worth the purchase yeah yeah it's worth a try worth a try I mean look put it this way I'm, I'm not gonna drink this often and I don't think I would um, you know make a habit of drinking it but once in a blue moon's good so yeah one to try or what can I say Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos and if you've enjoyed this review why don't you go ahead and leave me a comment and give it a thumbs up and if you're brave enough I dare you to share it. Till next time, thanks for watching.